One of the most important uh, creation I did was uh, the five different aged parmigiano in five different texture and temperature. That dish was created actually for uh, Messie Ducasse and was just uh, three different texture. It's important. I didn't say aged, aging. I said texture. Because at that time I was thinking about the texture to give uh, like chaud froid, hot and cold. So the texture, they can give you a different perception in the palette. I didn't think about the aging yet. I was uh, creating uh, um, this uh, creamy sauce with a souffle, with a crunchy galette on the top. Around uh, 98, I started working with these rudimental siphons they were using at the bar to whip the cream. I start uh, creating a foam close of the misoufflé, close to the crunchy galletta, and close to the sauce. I was trying to realize a, a plate with one, just one ingredient that during the aging process was transformed in different ingredients. Because a parmigiano of 24 months is totally different from a parmigiano of 36 months, is totally different from a parmigiano of 50 months. Umberto Panini came to have lunch to Osteria Francescana and his passion was making cheese and he had, uh, since uh, 92, he has the first cheese factory that uh, they are like uh, aging the cheese and producing bio biodynamic cheese. So Umberto, that night, it was the first night I introduced the fourth uh, texture. He started telling me the story of the cheese and the transformation process of the aging process. And explaining why and how I had to choose all the big wheels. Spring, summer, uh, milk uh, from cows they just deliver a whole world. Just Wow! So from that moment, I start realizing the texture, of course, temperature, of course, but the aging process was the major part. I finish the dish with the fifth texture to give the flavor to air, uh, I using a 50-month aged parmigiano, so very intense. And so I transform from, uh, from crust to air of parmigiano. So that was uh, the major path and, uh, and uh, I start realizing that the aging process was the idea of giving to your palate this different uh, sensation. So in a, in a small plate like that with one ingredient and the whole mental process we express what is our terroir. Uh, in 2011, that dish, that the whole process from 1993 to 2011 was recognized as the dish of the decade for Italian gastronomy.